that passes understanding. And when you're moving in that direction, even though hardships come and you're having troubles, the good news is the Lord doesn't want you out all by yourself. You don't go into the trouble alone. When you're in God's will, you have God's help. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Yes. When you're in God's will, you have God's help. You may struggle for a little while. It may look like you're not going to make it. Those disciples from looking around. I mean to tell you what, it was like a hurricane hit them. The water was splashing in the boat. You could almost hear. You know, you, you could almost hear the disciples in the boat. I, you know, just complaining and, and, and doubting, you know, the pastor, you know, Pastor Jesus and getting the boat going to the side. This is the will of, you know, this is the will of the church. Get over there on that side. And Pastor Jesus tells the disciples, get the boat and go on that side. You can almost hear the disciples. Oh, that pastor blew it again. He should he should have known this storm was going to hit us. What? You know, oh, don't look at me so funny. I know you think that way sometimes. That's all right. We all think like that. Did I make a mistake? What went wrong? Oh, I missed God on this one. No, we didn't miss God. We're still going God's way. And when we do, we're going to have God's help. He may, he may allow us to hit some rough sailing for a little while, but I guarantee you, He won't leave you out there all by yourself. He won't leave you out there all by yourself. As you notice, amen, they were troubled. They were being tossed back and forth. The winds are blowing. The sea is raising up. And the Bible says, praise God, that uh, verse 26, the disciples saw Jesus walking on the sea, coming toward Him, walking on the water. That's awesome. And so what that shows us is that when God commissions us and God gives us direction. We've got the will of God and we're being processed to go a certain way to do a certain thing. We can trust that God is going to help us to do it. God does not send us out into something unless he involves himself in it. Amen. So Jesus comes and involves himself in it and we look to Jesus as our help. We don't have to be overwhelmed with the circumstance and the problem because, amen, the problems will come even when we're in the center of God's will. But God will be our help. And Jesus comes walking on the water and he assures them, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And so in the process of our lives, when we've heard from God, we know we're doing God's will according to the peace of God in our heart and lined up with the word of God. Amen. And we're moving in this direction and doing this thing. When the hard times come, Jesus becomes our help and he's going to bring us through. Amen. He will bring us through. Yes. Amen. Amen. He comes walking on the water. He, he tells him. Be of good cheer as I be not afraid. And then Peter says, Lord, if it's really you. You know, sometimes we get a word from God in the midst of our being processed. You know, devastation comes. We've got problems. We're wondering, did I make a mistake? We're kind of discouraged and defeated and don't know if we're going to make it. Jesus shows up with his word. Amen. He says, be of good cheer as I be not afraid. He refreshes us in the Word of God. It's going to be all right. Don't worry. I haven't failed you yet. I'm going to bring you through. Amen. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. And we get the Word of God that comes back into our soul. And God assures us that He's going to bring us through. That's an awesome thing. When we have the Word of God that assures us that He's going to bring us through. We're moving we're being processed. There's a direction God has taken us. There's a decision we're making. We've waited on the Lord. We've heard His direction. We've got it in our heart. We've started out and we've been met head on with trouble. Amen. Unexpected trouble comes our way. We begin to question God, is this really your will, Lord? The Lord assures us in His word. Haven't I said I'll never leave you nor forsake you? And yet, even in the midst of that, we again question God if it's really you. And this is what Peter did. Lord, if it's you, then invite me to come out of the boat. Invite me to come out of the boat and come to you onto the water. And in the process of this, Jesus says, come. Peter gets out of the boat. Peter walks to the water and go to Jesus. And he's walking on the water. 
he gets out of the boat and he's walking on the water to come to Jesus. And we find the third point I want to make here. After we are doing God's will, we define God's will, we find out that our character is developed by God's will. Our character is developed by God's will. When we get, take that next step, God, this is what you said. So God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk in this thing. It, I don't know how, but Lord, this is what you said. And I'm taking the step. Amen. Amen. I'm taking the step out. What it causes, it causes us to develop a Christian character of trust. We begin to trust the Lord. Lord, if it's really you, then I'll take this step. And Jesus says, come. And you take that step and you get out of the boat on the water. And develops trust in that God knows what he's doing. And so you trust the Lord. And you start walking toward Jesus. You start walking into his widow. You start doing what God wants us to to do. And we find out that as we do that, the process becomes the character building. It becomes that which causes us to wait and be careful and be cautious in God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Doing the will of God, amen, is important for us to Amen. Great. Events yeah. and processes. Hallelujah. So I was praying. I just said, God, you have so many people Amen. that I'm aware of in our church that are going through processes. Amen. Some of them are very hard things, Lord. But God help them to understand that it's in the process. That will bring them to the success of the event. I want you to know this morning. The Lord is going to bring you through. God knows what he's doing. And he's here to help you today. For those of you this morning that are being. You, you know what I'm talking about. You, you, you're out on that water and you're trying to do God's will. It is hard. God's developing your character. God's developing your character by walking in His will. And you're going to be better because of it. And He wants you to know today it's going to be all right. Amen. It's going to be all right. I just want to wait on the Lord for a minute. Would you bow your heads? Just close your eyes and start to pray to the Lord. Here, Pastor, I've had a rough time here, Lord. 
having a rough time. There's a lot of events that have happened in my life and, and it's rough. And I'm being processed by God, but Lord, I need help. The Bible says Peter said he, he walked on the water and he, he began to look around and began to sink. And he just cried, Lord, help me. Lord, help, help me, Lord. And Jesus reached down and pulled him up and brought him back to that place. Jesus reached down and brought him back to that place. Brought him back into that boat. And the end of the event was they all said, God, you are God of the truth. And that's what you need today. You need a hand up. You're going through the process. You're on the waters. And it's rough. You're going through a rough time. But God wants you to know it's going to be all right. He's with you. You don't have to be afraid. I want to invite you. If that's you today, that's how you feel this morning. You're going through a rough time in your life. And you need a hand of God to pull you up. And I want you right now to get out of your seat and come around to the front of this church and let God meet you here. Let, let Him assure you this morning that even though the process is rough, the event is going to be great. God is going to work that situation. Now come on, get up and get out of your seats and come down to the front of this church. If that's you, you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are today. Why don't you just respond to the, to the voice of God, to, the, to the, uh, the call of God this morning. You want that assurance, you want that hand up this morning. Get out of your seat and come down in front of this church. God's going to work it out. He really is going to work it out for you. We're just going to wait a little bit longer. Come on, you know who you are. We're waiting for you today. There's others this morning. Come on, stand your feet with me, church, and let's, let's just sing to the Lord. And If you still feel this morning that God... You need a hand up. You need God to reach out and pull you up this morning. You're going through a rough process right now. God wants you to know it's going to be all right. Get out of your seat. Come down in front of this church. We want to pray with you this morning. Don't delay. Don't hold back. God wants to do work in your life this morning. Let the Lord touch you. Let the hand of God pull you up this morning. Getting closer to the coming of the Lord. Day by day, taking another step toward God. I just want you to know before we dismiss this service today, each and every one of you, no matter where you're at in the Lord, until we come before the Lord, I want to speak to your situation wherever you're at today and let you know. God will tell you today that everything is going to be all right. Yes. 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 I'm confident in this one thing. That all things will work together yes. for the good. To yes. those who love God and are the call to for His purpose. How do we lift our hands with me today and say, Pastor, I love God. Let me see your hands today. I love God. I guarantee you this morning, if you love God, your situation will work out for you. God will work the matters out because He said so. It's going to be all right. God is going to work it out. Your process will come to an end and you'll get back in the world. And you'll know that He is God the truth. God bless you today. Thank you for being here. We have a part of the service.